good morning students today we will study about the mechanism of stomatal movement that is the opening and closing of stomata how the light dark co2 concentration and water supply ph of the cells are these are the external stimuli that affect the opening and closing of the stomata by altering the size of the stomatal pore in our previous lecture all of you have seen the structure of stomata that is the pore the guard cells and the other epidermal and subsidiary cells when the guard cells become turgid their thin walls get extended and thick walls become slightly concave and thus this resulted in the opening of the stomatal ap aperture on the other hand when the guard cells become flaccid when they lose of water their thick walls revert back to their original position and thus the stomatal opening closes up but the recent investigation on the submicroscopic anatomy of the guard cell wall reveal that cellulose microfibrils and micelles are arranged around the circumference of the elongated guard cells this arrangement is called radial micellation such guard cells when take up water and expand cannot increase much in diameter because of the microfibrils do not stretch much in elongation on the other hand they increase in length since the two guard cells remain attached to each other at both ends they bend outward on swelling and result in the opening of the stomatal pore factors that affect the stomatal movement are the concentration of carbon dioxide the light the temperature the water deficit the ph changes the hormonal regulation carbon dioxide concentration in the intercellular spaces of the leaves when lowers causes the stomata to open a turgid leaf in the dark with closed stomata shows stomatal opening shortly after exposure to light that is on returning to darkness closing mechanism starts so the stomata opens up in the light and closes up in the dark temperature the stomata remain closed at 0 degree centigrade or lower than 0 degree centigrade and rise in temperature up to 30 degree centigrade causes stomata to open and the temperature beyond 30 degree centigrade causes stomata to close water deficiency under condition of water deficit that is increase water stress or decrease water potential within a leaf the stomata gets closed so as to reduce the loss of water to transpiration rise in the ph of the guard cells results in the opening of the stomata and decrease in ph causes its closure next we come to the hormonal regulation hormonal regulation abscisic acid a plant hormone causes the stomatal aperture to close now we come to the mechanism of stomatal movement explained first of all by the sire zedi sire in 1932 how the starch sugar interconversion resulted in the movement of stomata so as you can see in the picture 
how in light the photosynthesis occurs in the green leaves this process consumes co2 from the surrounding medium and the level of co2 in the substomatal cavity is decreased this results an increase in the ph of the gut cells as the ph of the gut cells favors the activity of enzyme phosphorylase the starch gets converted to glucose 1 phosphate these glucose 1 phosphate molecules being soluble in water get dissolved in the cell sap of the gut cells this results in increase in concentration of the cell sap and which resulted in its op is increased osmotic pressure is increased and increase in osmotic pressure of the cell sap results in an increase in its dpd diffusion pressure deficit in comparison to the surrounding cell so the now the water moves from the neighboring cells to the gut cell due to the diffusion pressure deficit gradient as we know the water moves from low op towards high op the gut cells becomes turgid due to endosmosis of water as the gut cells comes turgid the stomatal pore opens due to the radial myelination as i have explained you earlier now in dark as in the absence of light the process of photosynthesis doesn't occur the co2 accumulates in the intercellular space now the co2 binds with the h2o and form h2co3 bicarbonates these bicarbonates soon break up into h plus n bicarbonate ion hence the level of co2 is increased in the substomatal cavity results in an increase in the acidity of the gut cell by increasing hydrogen ion concentration due to increase in the h plus concentration the ph of the cell sap is decreased ph is decreased low ph favors the conversion of glucose 1 phosphate back to starch the starch grains being not soluble in water thus the removal of soluble sugar from the cell sap causes op to decrease which results in decrease of dpd gradient the gut cells become flaccid due to exosmosis of water and this resulted in the closing of the stomata this starch sugar hypothesis given by jd sire has been criticized by the steward in 1964 he pointed out that glucose 1 phosphate cannot change such osmotic pressure that can induce stomata to open and the closure of stomata must require atp which comes from respiration now moving to the next slide the summary diagram showing the mechanism of opening and closing of stomata as explained by the star sugar interconversion theory 
you can easily summarize the picture as in the presence of light green leaves are photosynthesizing co2 is being utilized so the co2 concentration gets decreased which causes an increase in ph as the ph is increased the enzyme phosphorylase become active and it converts starch to glucose 1 phosphate which increases the cell sap concentration op increases and endosmosis of water occurs which increases the turgidity of the guard cells so the stomata opens up and the vice versa process is during the dark condition the process of photosynthesis doesn't occurs so the co2 con concentration gets increased up co2 on combining with h2o forms bicarbonate which breaks up into h plus ions and bicarbonate ions h plus ions increases so the ph is decreased decrease in ph causes conversion of sugar back to starch starch being insoluble cell sap concentration decreases op decreases exosmosis of water occurs this results in decrease in tugger pressure now the stomata gets closed up so this is all about the mechanism of stomatal movement as explained by the starch sugar hypothesis a slight modification was given by steward steward modified the sires hypothesis and he concluded he concluded that in light photosynthesis occurs in light when which consumes the respiratory co2 present in the intercellular spaces this lowers the h plus concentration of cell sap and ph of guard cells is increased high ph favors activity of the enzyme phosphorylase which converts starch into glucose 1 phosphate the glucose 1 phosphate is further converted to glucose 6 phosphate by the enzyme phosphoglucomutase glucose 6 phosphate is converted to glucose and phosphate by enzyme phosphatase the glucose and phosphate phosphate units being soluble in the medium increases the concentration of the cell sap this results an increase in the op of the guard cells so their dpd increased and the movement of water into guard cells from the surrounding cells occurs the guard cells become turgid and swell up thus the stomatal pore opens so slight modification is that starch converts into glucose 1 phosphate and again its conversion back to glucose is being explained in the steward's theory similarly in the dark the level of co2 in the substomatal cavity is increased decrease in ph glucose molecules converted back to glucose 1 phosphate glucose 1 phosphate are converted to starch in presence of enzyme phosphorylase this causes dilution of the cell sap and the same process the decrease in op dpd decreased and the guard cell loses water and the guard cell become flaccid so the stomatal pore is closed star sugar hypothesis has been criticized as it's a slow process and cannot account for rapid stomatal movement another is 
another point is starch or other polymerized polysaccharide do not occur in onion plant where stomatal or moment do occur glucose is not detectable in the gut cells when the stomata opening occurs the theory could not explain the extra effectiveness of blue light at the time of stomatal opening so the hypothesis given by either by sire or by the steward could not concluded into a theory next come the explanatory theory regarding the movement of stomata that was given by levet the theory of the theory of protoplast the theory of protoplast transport and hormonal regulation as summarized in the picture in the light during light when the photosynthesis is occurring in the leaves CO2 concentration gets decreases and the CO2 concentration decreases and the first of all starch gets converted into PEP phosphenol pyruvic acid this phosphenol pyruvic acid then combines with the CO2 to form a four carbon compound that is oxaloacetic acid this oxaloacetic acid is soon converted to malic acid and the malic acid get stored in the guard cells the malic acid dissociates that is breaks up into the malate ions and the H plus ions in the guard cells. Protons of the guard cells are transported to the surrounding epidermal cells, that is the subsidiary cells, and the potassium ions are taken into the guard cells down an electrical gradient. This process is called ion exchange. potassium ions are taken into the guard cells and h plus ions are transported out of the guard cells that is the ion exchange process is occurring this ion exchange process is an active process which requires involvement of atp supplied either by the respiration or the photophosphorylation process increase concentration of potassium and malate ions in the vacuole of the guard cells causes sufficient decrease in the osmotic potential that is solute potential that cause reduction in water potential for example approximately 0.5 molar concentration of k plus can cause a decrease in the osmotic potential by about 2 mega pascals decrease in water potential of the guard cell results in the entry of water from the surrounding cells now as the water is entering increased turgor of the guard cells due to the incoming water results in the opening of the stomatal pore this is how the stomata gets open up due to the ion exchange process occurring in the guard cells that is potassium ions are taken into the guard cells and h plus ions are transported out of the guard cells and k plus is combining with the malate ions and form potassium malate due to the formation of potassium malate op of the guard cells increases as the op increases and osmosis occurs guard cells become turgid 
and so the stomata gets opened up now during the dark condition carbon dioxide concentration is increased in the dark in the substomatal cavity because photosynthesis stops here and respiration continues it results in the lowering of the ph as is discussed in the uh, uh, start sugar inter conversion hypothesis low ph and shortage of water in leaves results in the activation of an inhibitor hormone known as abscisic acid this abscisic acid acts on the guard cell membrane and opens calcium channels it results in the entry of calcium ions into the guard cells where they bind with calmodulin abscisic acid thus stops atp dependent proton pump k plus uptake by changing the diffusion and permeability of guard cells so that k plus and water leak out loss of water from the guard cells reduces turgor which is as in the closure of stomata the actual mechanism of stomatal closure is still clearly not known but the most accepted theory regarding the movement of stomata has been explained by the levitz potassium transport and hormonal regulation process so just a just a look again into the dark process that is co2 concentration increases due to decrease in ph ab starts forming and activating the process of potassium exchange stops malate ions present in the guard cell cytoplasm combine with the h plus to form malic acid again k plus ions transported back into the subsidiary cells resulting in the decrease osmotic concentration of the guard cell exosmosis occurs guard cells become flaccid and stomata gets closes up just a look into this diagram how A B A abscisic acid and potassium pump resulting in the stomatal movement that is the opening and closing of stomata. The exit process of 